Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we'll be continuing to practice chemical reactions. Your job today is going to be to complete the reactions and to predict the products. At any point in the video, what I would recommend is pressing pause and trying the problems on your own. The first thing when we look at this problem here, what I want you to see is you need to classify the type of reaction. What kind of reaction do we have here? Is it a synthesis, double replacement, single replacement, etc.? Press pause, classify this reaction, please. This reaction is a very typical double replacement reaction. Double replacement reaction has a compound on this side, a plus sign in the middle, and another compound right here. Okay, so compound plus a compound. And what that's gonna give me on the other side is a guide. It's gonna give me a, a compound plus another compound. What I would like you to do at this point is to press pause and attempt to solve this problem. Try to figure it out, see if you can get the right answer. In any double replacement reaction, the key to solving is really just swapping the first two elements. Okay, the first element here, sodium, swapping it. Trade places with aluminum. Let them switch. Okay, so aluminum will now be with carbonate, and sodium will now be with where Al was with hydroxide. And that is what I'm going to draw down below. Okay, this is a difficult problem because there are polyatomic ions involved. All right, so this is going to produce sodium is no longer with CO3. Sodium is now with OH. And I'm going to have the plus on. And aluminum is now going to be with CO3. And CO3 is a polyatomic ion. And on a test or a quiz, I would definitely let you know that. Okay, we're almost done actually. The problem is very near to being finished. The last thing I need to do is cross the charges. And carbonate has a 2 minus charge, and aluminum has a 3 plus charge. And so what I have is the 2 from that comes right over here, Al2. And aluminum 3 goes on the outside over here, CO3, 3. I need to do that in all my compounds, okay? So hydroxide is OH1 minus, its name is hydroxide. It's a 1 minus charge. Sodium is a 1 plus. And as you swap a 1 and a 1, what you end up with is a 1 and a 1. And you really don't need to write that. So the final product is Na1OH1 plus Al2 parentheses CO3, and then the outside the parentheses, a 3. All right, guys, next reaction. Last one was a double replacement, so this really does not look like a double replacement. Please try to figure out what type of reaction this is. That's the first step in determining the products that I'm going to make. I think the two logical guesses for this would be a single replacement reaction or a combustion reaction, and this is actually going to be a combustion reaction. It looks like single replacement, but it really is not. It's a combustion reaction. Um, combustion reactions always have a carbon-hydrogen compound, like a C with a certain number of Cs and an H and a certain number of these Hs here, and it's always going to be plus oxygen, because in order for something to burn, combustion means burning, you need oxygen as one of your reactants. And once you have this known, guys, the answer to this should be pretty easy, okay? Because all combustion reactions have the very same product they make. So why don't you press pause, try to determine the product that it makes. Every combustion reaction always makes two things that put out fires, H2O and CO2. Okay, that is what every single combustion reaction makes. There is no other combination that I want there, just H2O and CO2. Okay, right now we're not, if you notice this, we're not balancing the, the problem with coefficients at all. We're not putting these uh, numbers in front right now. The point of this video is not to balance, mainly though to classify and then use the classification to predict what's going to happen. So we're not balancing this. The reactions are not balanced, so don't worry about that. Okay, guys, in this example, what I want you to see is I have one thing I'm starting with, and uh, the question is, what kind of reaction is it? Go ahead and classify it. This is a good example of a uh, decomposition reaction, and a decomposition reaction, really what happens is that something breaks up. The substance you originally have is now going to be broken up into two or more different parts, and I need to have something like this as an ending. And really what I want you to do is just write down what the substance was originally. It was originally made of hydrogen and oxygen. 
Lastly, you have to go ahead and clean it up. Clean it up by writing the subscripts. Both H and O are Brickelhoffs. Brickelhoffs means they are diatomic molecules. They always have twos after them. And when I solve my problem, this is the answer. H2O2 will decompose to form H2 gas and O2 gas. And guys, that was just a few examples I wanted to go over for a little extra help. If you want, watch the other video I have on this. I'm sure that would be helpful too. But thanks for watching. Have a good day.